doing some preliminary stuff here and getting this together. Yeah. Uh huh. And what do we have? Yeah. 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 What's going on, Cartel Prince? This is your boy, Kaliak. Welcome to the Animal Planet Podcast. You know what I'm saying? going on telling me cuts what's going on good brother yeah this your boy kaliak and uh yeah i'm doing my podcast thing today you know what i'm saying i'm uh i'm feeling good about it uh i'm getting it all together here and uh yeah here we are you know what i'm saying i'm gonna let a couple people come on in as usual i just pop up on this thing and uh let people come in and uh find me on their own uh, my man, my man, telling me, cuss, what's going on? That's a, it's my brother, the barber. You know what I'm saying? Okay, more family members have entered the building. My boy, T-shirt, grind squad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold on. Let's get the, I got all kinds of stuff going on today, family members. This your boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I got little, uh, sounds up in this joint. More family members have just entered the building. Welcome to the animal planet. Holla at your boy. Yeah. You see me? You see me? And what do we have here? Yeah. I got music in the background, everything. I'm showing off today, family members. Yeah, this is your boy, Kaliaka. We just going for it today. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have some fun. Uh, Today's topic is going to be about support. Uh, I hear a lot of people talking about the, uh, support. Uh, that they think they should be getting from family members and friends. And uh, in my opinion, uh, I want to know, you know what I'm saying, to the family members out there, uh, do you think your family members and friends are obligated to support your business endeavors? Uh, that's the topic for today. Uh, I want my family members to chime in. Uh, like I said, I'm showing off today. I, I got this thing all set up with sound effects. Uh, when the manufacturers come in, I got little, little things and another manufacturer. All kinds of stuff going on here. I got sound effects. I got more family members. Yeah. Just into the building. You know, I got claps. Welcome I got gunshots. I, I got the work. I, I am set up Peace. today. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, family members, let's, let's get right into it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to wait for nobody. Uh, wherever you find me at, well, you can watch me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, now and Twitter. Yes, 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 yes. Your boy's on Twitter now. I, I, I just stepped it up. I'm on four different things. So I'm on four different things and I got three, uh, viewers. Yeah. So I'm expanding faster than my viewers can catch up to me. They'll, they'll get it eventually. You know what I'm saying? They're going to catch up to me eventually. Until then, uh, it is what it is, and it's a slow grind, and this is the part of the business no one uh, wants to talk about. <laughs> so anyway, do y'all believe that your family members are obligated to support your business endeavors? Again, a lot of times I see it all over social media. I see it in the real world. People uh, expect their families and friends to buy into their their business idea. And if, and if they don't, they feel like those family members aren't being supported. Um, I don't believe that. I think that uh, your family members and your friends and people you grow up with, they support you in different ways, right? So let's say with sometimes Gorilla. Um, not a whole lot of family members, real, I'm talking about my actual family members and, and friends that I grew up with. Not many of them actually support, uh, this endeavor. That does not mean they're not supporting me. What it is, is they're supporting me in different ways. And if you've known me your whole life, then you'll realize more family members have just that entered the building. Uh, Welcome to the animal. Planet. They've probably supported me ever support. since I was in, in a high school somewhere. You know what I'm saying? At some point in my life. And because they're not supporting sometimes gorilla, let's say, quote unquote, uh, I can't get mad that they're not supporting it. It's this they probably just tired of supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said last week, people support two things. What is successful and what they think is going to be successful. So as an entrepreneur, our job 
is to get to that to that part because they're going to support you eventually. You know what I'm saying? So my goal is not for family members and friends to support me is to create a community around people that are interested in purchasing my products. Uh, because again, like I was saying last week, and I'll continue to say, those make better customers. Those make better engagements between me and followers. Um, and they are now considered what I call family members. Um, if I just go with my actual bloodline family members, well, they've known me their whole life and they got things going on too. Matter of fact, a lot of them ain't got time to even be paying attention to me like this. You know what I'm saying? They're not all on my social media, clicking like and commenting and stuff like that. Not that they won't come on and may see a picture or something and every now and then like something. Uh, even sometimes even ask me for something. Let me get one of them shirts or something. You know what I mean? They ain't going to pay me, but okay, I'll send it in. I'll send it anyway. But, but I do also have those real live blood family members that actually spend their money with me as well. Those are, you know, they just support me. They're going to support me. If I was selling a pencil, uh, those family members was going to buy it. But I don't get upset when certain family members don't, let's say, support uh, my business endeavors. You know what I mean? And that's because, like I said, I, I understand how this goes. You know what I'm saying? And but I, But I see it all the time. People get really upset when their friends and family don't support their businesses, but there's different ways to support you. Um, a like is support. Um, a comment is support. A share is support. Uh, Telemade Cut says family should feel inclined to be supportive. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I don't think they should feel inclined to be supportive. I mean, they're going to be supportive. Okay, let me let, let me back that up. Uh, Telemade Cut. What do you mean by they should feel inclined to be supportive? Before I even respond to that, what do you mean by that? So, uh, expand on that, 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 that statement you just made there. Because maybe they, and like I was saying, they are supporting you in, in various different ways. They might not support you financially. And a lot of times when you're in business, as you know for yourself, Okay, he says, uh, Taylor Made Cuts, LLC, uh, says families should feel inclined to be supportive. And then he followed up, says not obligated, but inclined. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. Um, so, so let me ask you this then. Does it always have to be financial? Because a lot of times what I see is people feel that like the only time people are supporting them is if it's financial. People don't look at the other ways that you support them. You know what I'm saying? Because I have family members and I have friends that probably can say I don't support them because maybe I didn't purchase their product. But I may have liked, I may have shared, I might even gave them an idea that, that helped their business or I might have even plugged them in. So let's say, uh, like you tell me, Cuts, if I suggest your barbershop to somebody, and let me tell everybody, no one here that's in the Delaware, Philadelphia, Baltimore area, Taylor Made Cuts is a supreme barber in the Delaware area. So make sure y'all go like, follow, and comment that brother. Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, that's his work. He gets busy. He gets busy. You know what I'm saying? And that brother is a, uh, yeah, real strong brother. You know what I mean? I appreciate what he brings uh, to my life outside of a barber, you know, I, I would like to consider him as a friend. And as you can see, what's going on, Jerk Mind Industries? And what do we have here? Looks like another manufacturer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? More manufacturers. Just, you know what? What's funny is a lot of manufacturers be on my page, which is a good thing. I know we, uh, we like to laugh and joke, but they're very, uh, they bring something to the table too. Taylor Bay Cut says, Support has many different faces. Doesn't have to be financial, just supportive. I 1000% agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I think that so support has many faces, but a lot of times people only want to recognize the financial component to it. You know what I'm saying? So if they find, if they support you financially, then they're supporting you. And if they don't, then I guess they're not. I don't agree with that. Like I said, I have family members and friends that I've known all my life. That I've even given shirts to. And I remember when I first started sometimes Gorilla, I would give 
my friends, my shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like literally give it to them. Huh? Could you do me a favor? I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on Instagram. Just wear it. Take a picture. I just want to be able to post you. And I never did. You know what I'm saying? And I used to get upset at that because I'm like, well, damn, you, you know, you can support everybody else under the sun, but you don't, you, your own brother, your own family member, you can't, you know, for some reason you can't post a picture with my stuff. <laughs> And the reality of it is, is that, you know, they did support me. I just was being naive and selfish at the time to think that they were, again, like Mr. Teller made cuts, says, see, I felt they were obligated to support me. You know what I'm saying? And obligated to promote me even. And if they weren't doing that, whether promoting me or buying my stuff, at one point I used to take that as not supporting me. I have since backed away from that because support, like the brother said, has very, 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 very. It's a lot of different faces to support. And it's not always a financial component. A lot of times they just want the shirt because they want the shirt. But, you know, they might not wear it that day. You know what I'm saying? And here I am. I want you to post it because I want to post it for other people so other people can see because at the time I wanted to pretend I was doing business. So I wanted people to to take a picture in my shirt. So I can show other people, look, somebody's buying my shirt. You should too. That doesn't always boil down to um, uh, support all the time. You know what I mean? So for me, I've learned that support has all kinds of different avenues and ways of, okay, take it easy, brother. Stay strong. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Holla at my boy, tell me, cuz make sure y'all go like, follow, add, and subscribe that brother. Welcome to the Animal Planet. Holla at your boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ow! So, yeah, family members, this your boy, Kaliak. Again, welcome to the Animal Planet. And what do we have? And, uh, and what do we have here? We're just on this joint, just talking about support. You know what I'm saying? I've also learned about outside of support. Uh, about this algorithm thing. I like to keep talking about that because, uh, I brought up something the other day in a conversation with a couple friends, right? So people like to seem to think that they're so important that Instagram, Facebook, or whatever one of these services are that focused on what they're doing that they decided to block them or, or, or shadow ban them, or the algorithm. Let me come on here. And, uh, back to work I go, T-shirt grind squad. Hey, listen, get to the money, good brother. Like I always say, go to your uh, 73 to pay for your nine to f your, your, your 3 to 11. What's going on, King Abdullah? More family members have entered the building. Yeah. More family members have just entered the building. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Planet. Welcome to the Animal Planet. Welcome to the Animal Planet. Holla at your boy. This your boy, Kali Ah, And it's the Sometimes Gorilla podcast. And uh, today we're talking about support. You know what I'm saying? Do your family and friends, are they obligated to support your business endeavor? Um, I say no. But people seem to think, like I started from the beginning, uh, people seem to think if they don't support you financially, then that means they're not supporting. But that's always not true. What's going on, little bruh? That's King Abdullah. Go holla at the boy. You know what I'm saying? More family members in this piece. I like it. I like it. I like it. So what tends to happen all the time, <laughs> no, nah, they go, they, they low like you. They go follow you and subscribe because that's what my family members do on my page, good brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I had to learn that the hard way. But like I was saying, a lot of people sometimes get confused. Let's get back to this algorithm thing. Everybody swears up and down that this algorithm is stopping them from getting promoted and this, and that, and the third. The reality of it is, if you're a business, these social media pages want you to pay for promotion. So they'll let you get so far, the rest of it, they want you to pay. It's not shadow banning you because you're important or, 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 or they're hating on you or anything. What they're doing is they are operating their business. Now, in the event you do something that goes viral, well, they'll promote you just the same. And then that's at that point, you have to use that opportunity to 
um, maximize your your viewership. But a lot of times, I also learned a lot of times what ends up happening is there's something called insights, right? So on any social media platform, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's TikTok, no matter what it's called, um, they have something called um, insights, right? And on these insights, you can see what's your best days of business, who's your demographic, whether it's men or women, what's your best areas, um, what posts and the like, um, all kinds of little stuff, right? It's up to you at that point to decide you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? So when you're you're stuck doing that, it, it's just it's nobody's fault. So again, this your boy Kali. Yeah, welcome to the Animal Planet, and uh, this is the Sometimes Gorilla Podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm all here talking about supporters and. Uh, are your family and friends obligated to support you? What's going on, Mr. Morales? Yeah, more family building members have entered the building. What's going on, BJ? What's going on, Cuzzo? How are you? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's my thing. Today, we're going to talk about um, do family members, are they obligated to support your business? Or is it other ways they can support you? Like I was saying earlier, um, your family members and friends can support you in other ways that that's outside of spending money with you. You know what I'm saying? They can support you. If you're me, you can support me just by, if you just showed up here, that's, I consider that support for me for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You don't always have to buy my stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, if you give me some words of encouragement, if you inbox me, what's going on, bro? I like what you're doing. Boom. I get it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people don't want their shit on front street. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to be in your comments, but they may DM you. You know what I'm saying? That's considered support. Um, there's so many different ways to support people that I think we get pigeonholed into this system of thinking that support is only this one thing. And it really truly isn't. You know what I mean? It really truly isn't. And it's sad that a lot of times we're stuck believing that if our family, our friends aren't buying into our brand, that they're not supporting us. You know what I'm saying? Because they truly are. You know what I'm saying? They really truly are. And if you're in my shoes, I've been hustling and doing something probably since the age of maybe 15, maybe 16, selling something, you know, firecrackers here, um, T-shirts there. Uh, you know, at one point I thought I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, selling DVDs and CDs and mixtapes. And, you know, over the years, you know, your family and friends, they, they, they probably get tired of support my ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They get tired of supporting me, uh, all the time. So, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I respect it. And, uh, it is what it is. What's going on? The hot sp- Sport one, two, three, four, five, and uh also looks like another manufacturer has entered the building. <laughs> and what do we have here? Looks like another manufacturer. <laughs> yeah, so uh like I said before, the manufacturers seem to love me. Um <laughs> they love me, but they, they they have a place in this thing as well. Um again, I'm on today at one o'clock because I, I am testing my insights some more. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to see, even though the insights told me from 12 to 2 was my best times, I figured, A, I'll try it, but today isn't my my, my, my premium day, for real, for real. I think Tuesday or Wednesday, I have to check again, I think Tuesday or Wednesday was my better days to promote my podcast, but I figured, why not give it a shot? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to them. And you know, like I said, I also realized that people are going to come back. They double back. They always do. They always double back and get on this joint and um uh they holler at you later, you know what I'm saying? Because uh sometimes people want to listen to it, but they might like in this case, right? People at work. I get it. You know what I'm saying? People at work, they got things to do. They ain't got time to be sitting around here messing around with me. You know what I'm saying? Or if they do, I am not that popular enough for somebody to take their time out to um you know 
take time out of his life. So you see people promote my, my podcast, 8 p.m. Saturday. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you realize Saturday is a premium day? I got things to do. What makes you think I'm going to sit and watch your podcast uh, at, on Saturday at 8 p.m.? You know what I'm saying? And I think, like I said, we don't, some, you know, I think the ones that know what they're doing, they actually use their insights. But the ones who don't read those insights, well, you're going to forever believe that people are hating on you or not supporting you. The reality of it is, like I said before, I put these on at different time slots to, to try different times. But more importantly, what I do is I get on here because I'm not selling to my family or friends. You know what I'm saying? What I am selling is to people who genuinely are interested in sometimes Gorilla, the brand. Now, if we become friends and family members throughout that journey, much respect. But if not, my goal as a business person is to create value in my product enough for somebody to want to spend their money with me. I can't get mad if they don't. What I have to realize is I have to figure out where their value system lies and how can I meet it? How can I meet them on their terms? You know what I'm saying? So, again, going back to Tom slots, going back to insights, and there's all kinds of things you can do to figure these things out, which I'm learning to get a better result, is once you start figuring this stuff out, they'll work better for your promotion. And if you want this, you can skip all of that and jump the front of the line and just pay for promotion. But a lot of small-time businesses, they just don't want to do that. And that's also a trial and error kind of deal because you kind of got to put your stuff in there and see if it works. What's going on, Royal Clothing 12? Uh, uh, I don't, I, I guess you're trying to request me to be in my video, but for what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like another manufacturer. Ah! All right. <laughs> What's the point of you trying to video chat me so you can show me some of your stuff? Listen, you're not going to be trying to sell your stuff on my live feed, brother. But what you can do, you can go to www.sometimesgorilla.com and buy some garments, brother. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to hit me on the live feed or nothing. Just go there while we on this thing, right? Buy something, then come back on here and comment below that I purchased something. And I'm going to get a ding on this computer saying I just got a new sale. And at that point, we can go live with your video. You feel me? And then you can do whatever you want. But you're going to have to pay to get on my live, good brother. So Royal Clothing 12 and any of the other manufacturers, this ain't the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I, I welcome all the manufacturers that come on my page. I appreciate them, but um, a lot of times y'all too aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to sell to a person who's trying to sell something. This, this is this is kind of ridiculous, right? So <laughs> anybody that knows, right, anybody who's – I talk about them a lot, um, <laughs> they're always trying to do something uh, to, to get you to buy something from them. But say, as soon as you ask them to buy something from you, they lost, they, they lose their body. They, they ain't interested in that. <laughs> BJ12345 says, do your thing. I see you. I'm happy for you, my brother. Keep up the good work. I appreciate you. Good brother, BJ. You know what I'm saying? More family members. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to link up, cuzzo, for sure. Make sure, listen, Y'all make sure y'all go follow BJ012345. Good brother. Also a family member. Go like and follow the brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so that's, that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? So support again. That's my actual cousin there, BJ. Um, by him saying that, that's support for me. You know what I'm saying? So you don't always have to buy stuff from your family members and friends in order to, to, to feel like they're supporting you. Sometimes they just support you in different ways outside of monetary. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that's also good because what happens is if all your, if your goal is to only get money, I suggest you not promote to your family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, because a stranger is going to probably be a better customer than a family member. And that's for several reasons. Um, but, you know, you just got to do it and, and got to do what you got to do. What's going on? Civilities and quality fitters, sportswear. What's going on? More family members have entered the building. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You know what I'm saying? The building. So check it out. This is Kaliak, and this is the Sometimes Gorilla Peace Podcast. I would like to welcome everybody who's joining in here. Welcome to the Animal Planet. Holla at your boy. This is what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as you can see, I got little sound effects. I got music now. I'm getting busy. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I got little laughter. I got cheers. Before, I was stuck with just a little one or two little things. Now, I'm all over the place. Um, I'm also streaming on four different places now. I done stepped it up. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And I'm on Twitter now. Um, We're still working on TikTok. Uh, uh, Update. Since the last show, I was up to 300 people on TikTok. I'm up to like 600 now. 400 more people. We going live there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the YouTube page is, eh, the following is not as strong, but I will say this about YouTube. They're watching it more and for longer on YouTube. So I can respect them. Uh, if you want to just listen to the, the podcast, I am on a site called a cast at studio.restream.io. Look for S M T X G R L A. That's the Sometimes Gorilla Podcast. And that's on A Cast. Um is the name of the website, A Cast. And like I said before, uh it is it is A Cast. What did I just say? Uh, oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't lost myself here. <laughs> but yeah, that's where the RSS stream. The, well, the easiest way for you to, to figure out the RSS stream, I actually have it tied to my Facebook page. Just let's make it easier on, our, <laughs> on ourselves. Uh, just go to my Facebook page and click. And if you're on your phone, it'll automatically pop up. You can click the link, boom, and it'll go right to podcast, which most people do. Um, but if you're not, you can go to acast.com, a c a s t. Dot com and that's the RSS feed. Just look for S M T X G R L A as the uh the podcast. Um and that's where most of the people are finding me at. What's going on to Angela Sports? Uh yeah. So what do we have here? Looks like another manufacturer. Ah! Yeah, more fame manufacturers have entered the building as per usual. <laughs> Listen, I respect and appreciate anybody trying to sell anything. So uh to all the manufacturers out there, that's what's up. I appreciate y'all coming on my podcast. Uh if you're just watching, I appreciate it. If you got something input to say, say it. Uh, but don't don't spend your whole time trying to trying to sell on, on here. This ain't the place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so back to my question. Do you think that your family members are obligated to support you? Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Hold on. Yeah, it's kind of quiet out there. <laughs> yeah, shots fired. Shots fired. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's what I found out. So, um, I don't believe that they are. Uh, and as life would have it, this is what they're probably not going to do. Family members are probably some of the worst supporters. I, uh, I hate to admit it. They probably some of the worst supporters. Unless, right? Unless. There's always this unless component. Unless you have become successful. If you're already successful, uh, they'll support the hell out of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and listen, and I'm not knocking no family members because I love my family members to death for sure. But I also realize that I'm not trying to sell to them. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just my reality. So I'm not trying to sell to them. So I don't feel like they should support me. I appreciate when they do, but I don't feel like they're obligated to support me in any other way because I do believe that they do support me uh, morally. You know what I'm saying? I believe that they support me um, uh, through 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 kind words. Um, <laughs> Uh, family members are like uh, civil, c- c- civil allies, says family members are like extracto knives extracting from you. Ah, I wouldn't put it that deep. 
<laughs> I don't think they're extracting from you. I think that family members are family members. That's exactly what they are. They are here to love you. They are here to embrace you. They are here because they are your family members. With your business, though, they're not obligated to support it because why should they? You know what I'm saying? They're ob they've been obligated to come to birthday parties your whole life. They've been obligated to play with you. If you and my family, they come over, you, you obligated to play with each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of times if the older cousins come around, they're obligated to watch the younger cousins. Uh, they're obligated to cook for you, uh, for holidays. They're, they're obligated in so many other ways that supporting your business just maybe doesn't rate. And I know that's hard for people to understand, but that's the truth of the matter. Your family members and friends are not here to keep your business afloat. If they do, right? It's a wonderful thing if they do. But if they don't, then they just don't. You know what I'm saying? You can't be upset at them for not supporting your business. Civil Allies said they are obligated in every other race. Huh. That's a very interesting concept that I hadn't quite put that much thought into. But that's a dope thought, though. Actually, I... Uh, wow. Yeah, you know what? Huh. You have a major point, actually. Damn, I, I might have to back up off my uh my talking point here because uh Civil Allies, which is also a family member, go holler at the boy, you know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all go like follow and subscribe to them um says that family members are obligated to support in every other race and wow because the reality of it that's 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 very true i mean i can't even i, I can't even argue that because if you look at the chinese people they they have what they call um group at group economics is what they call that uh, same as support, but group economics, uh, Jewish people, uh, Mexicans, uh, the IRA, IRA people with the, uh, uh, you know, their little stores, uh, the Italian people with the pizzerias and everything else that they do. So I guess, oh, all right. Well, let, let's, let's, let's change this. Are they supporting them, civil allies? as much as they're working for them and they're working collectively as a group to promote the mass of the, of the group. Um, I don't really see them. Uh, that's hard for me to say, because I guess, I guess they are supporting them, but uh, I'm talking about supporting them in, in a sense of buying their products. Um, because, and they do. I mean, I, that's, that's hard for me to say, to make this point. Yeah, they're building together. Yes, 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 yes. That's, I think building together is a little different than supporting. Um, even though it's the same, I'm talking, I guess what I'm saying is support as in, are they obligated to buy from you? Your family members and friends, are they obligated to buy your product in order to, to sustain your business. Um, not come around and gather around it and support, and I'll work the cashier, you'll be the cook, um, I'll be the electrician instead of calling an electrician, I'll be the plumber, uh, we'll all, you know, pool our money together and get a three bedroom house and we'll live upstairs until we finally get enough money to, to build a bigger house and so on and so forth. That is support for sure. That's more team building for me though. You know what I'm saying? That's more team building. I mean, that, that falls under the umbrella of support. Don't get me twisted. You know what I mean? Because that is, that is support and that's the greatest sense of support. Actually, um, team building is the greatest sense of support, but, um, God damn, you done, you done hurt my little feelings to allies because now you got me looking like because our people did, we just don't support each other now. <laughs> Civil allies said, yes, they should be obligated to buy so the money circulates. 
again, I hate that you're making these great points, but you're you're making them. This is a fact. I can't argue any of this stuff because they they the money will circulate if they but if they buy from you. Um, I guess I, I guess I have to. I, have, I guess maybe I'm uh, I'm speaking for my community. I, I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? At this point, you done you done messed up my whole podcast over here. Here I am trying to act like I know what the hell I'm talking about, and civil allies came in here and shut me down. God damn it! Hold on. I tell you what, civil allies, you just you literally, brother, you have just earned yourself. Uh, how do you? How do you? I want to add you. How do you add you? Invite you to the goddamn conversation, brother. <laughs> yeah, how about can you tell me that on the live stream, good brother? Because that's that's dope. And let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it a little bit because civil allies got some very valuable points. What's going on, good brother? Good brother. Yeah, yeah. Civil allies. More family members have entered the building. What's going on, good brother? <laughs> Welcome to the Animal Planet. I was here um, starting my day. Um, I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you. For some reason, you muted. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I can't hear you. Uh, I can see you. You got some dope graffiti going in on the background as well, but I can't hear you. What's oh, going on, the Cartel Prince and Watts boy? More family members have entered the building. Mm. I think I'm on I'm on Bluetooth right there. That's why. Hold up. Uh Civil Allies for some reason I I, I can't get you. I'm not sure. Maybe um I'm not sure what's happening here, but I I'm, I'm trying to get Civil Allies on here to get his point of view on um family members. You can hear, uh, Cartel Prince says, I can hear him, but very low. Uh, say something again, uh, Civil oh, Allies. You... Yeah, man, I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing on my end. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I'll why. I'll tell you what you do, uh, Civil Allies. Disconnect, and I'll try to reconnect you and see if we get better that way. Okay. Let me see if I, I would disconnect you. Don't, don't, don't unfollow the feed. Just let me disconnect you here. And uh, I'll bring you back in somehow. Let's see. Man, I don't even know how to get him off. I see the brother. I don't know how to get him off of this joint. Man, I, I'm such a rookie at this stuff. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh Civil allies, disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself if you can. I don't know how I would do that. I'm, I'm trying. I, I just, just, there you go. Got him off of there. All right, cool. What's going on, Cartel Prince? What's going on, Watch Boy 105? This is sometimes Gorilla Animal Planet podcast. And as you can see, I got sound effects and everything on this drink. Um, today's topic is support. Do you believe your family members and friends are obligated to support you? Uh, and that's the topic for today. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm trying again to, to I'll just click civil allies in the joint. Hopefully we can hear him. What about now? Can you hear me now? I can't hear you at all, brother. Damn, that's, that's weird. I'm not, I'm not sure why you can't hear me. Hold on one second. Let, let me let me see something here. Hold on. I think I might. I think I may have a way to figure this out. Give me one second here. Say something now. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Man, man, this ain't working. We having sound issues on this joint. I can't get the brother. I think I think you can't hear me, but everybody else can hear me though. <laughs> I can't hear a single damn thing. <laughs> I wish I could. Hey, listen, uh, I, I, I don't know what happened here. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what's going on. Let's see here. Let's let's invite somebody else on the joint. Let's see if that if that clears that up. I, I don't even know. 
You know what's crazy, y'all? I don't even know how to, to get people off. Oh! Let's figure out how to do something. Hold on. A cartel prince says, I think family support should be there to should be there to the process. You hear me good, cartel prince, or do you hear uh did you hear civil allies good? It was the question. Uh but anyway. Uh, civil allies, uh, I, 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 I would love for your input on the conversation, but I just can't for some reason. I can't. Uh, I can't hear you. Okay, that works for me. That works for me. And I tell you what, we'll do on the other side of this. Uh, I'll get your information. We can. We can. We can. We can chat. We can bust it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Cartel Prince is working his eight to five. Okay, I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Thank you for even showing up on, 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 on this joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Civil Allies made a very, very, very great point, right? And I, here I am on my soapbox talking about um, you shouldn't expect support from your family members and friends, which I personally do not. But car, uh, the Civil Allies essentially says that Every other race does, to which I unfortunately have to agree. So in order to shift the conversation and make it make sense, I guess the better question is how do we get our family and friends to support us? Because I always believe that you have to reach your customers where they are. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I was saying earlier in the podcast, if all my insights say that I should be on at 2 p.m., but then I'm doing my podcast at 8 p.m., well, it's not my fault if nobody comes to that. So, Civil Allies, if, you, if you're still there, uh, I would like your input on that. How do, what, do you, what do you suggest to get us as a collective to, to, to reach our family members and friends to get to that place where they, they actually support us? Because that's a whole nother animal altogether. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, 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 again, for me, even though I agree with civil allies and cartel prince, uh, cartel prince says that one thing I've learned that family members and friends want something for free or discount. Um, sometimes I agree. I was saying earlier, though, cartel prince, that a lot of times your family and friends support you in other ways, right? So they've been with you your, your whole life, right? Literally. Your real family and your real friends have been with you your whole entire life. So they've been obligated to support you in some sense their whole entire life. Like I was saying in my family, my cousins were, were older than me, so they were obligated to watch my little bad ass, right? Um, the girls in my family were obligated to cook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my friends were obligated to be my friends. You know what I mean? If I get into some shit, we all got into some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so over the years, because just because I got business, they don't, I don't, I've never felt that they needed to continue to support me financially. Um, Civil Ally says, you're doing it with this podcast, open, opening the conversation, I'm assuming that's what you're trying to say. Yes. Yes, I, I'm, at least I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely trying to. Um, but, uh, so th th for me, though, I never really felt that um, that my family members and friends needed to support me. And that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Because they have supported me in my endeavors throughout my whole entire life. Um, so, now that I have sometimes gorilla, let's say, if they don't support sometimes gorilla, I don't feel like, oh man, you know what they hate on me. They should be supporting me. Um, at some point, you know, you, you can do enough things where they get tired. You know what I'm saying? So family members and friends, they might not support your brand, but let's say you got a, a son or a daughter. If they bought them a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, they literally supported you. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you've ever been in a hospital and they've shown up, that's support. It, Maybe they didn't support your your business venture, 
But I can't, that's just me. And like I said before, I believe family members and friends are some of the worst customers you can have. Now, I do have some family members, like my little brother, uh, my cousin Mecca. Um, there's a couple of them out there. I can't name them all. But I have a lot of family members that bloodline family members that support me in a real way. Like, nah, they just like, you know, my boy Nardo, you know what I'm saying? They, they buy my stuff leaps and bounds all the time. I see with allies, I say people support things um, that's already successful or things that they think will become successful. So that so civil allies says when they see other people connecting, then they support. That's correct. Once they realize or see that it's going to be something, that's when the support comes. I'm talking about their their support. And actually, believe it or not, they're going to tell everybody, if you become successful at any point in your life, they're going to tell everybody how they were there from the beginning anyway. I promise you, and they're gonna be at every family function and every picture, and they're gonna repost you then. You know what I'm saying? So if they don't post me now and I become successful, and next thing you know, I'm with Jay-Z at the Rock Nation brunch, you know what I'm saying? This is me manifesting here. I'm manifesting some shit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But if you know, if I ever got that big and popular, I wouldn't have to worry about family members uh, supporting me. They go support me for sure. I'm talking about sometimes gorilla. But like I said, my family members. Uh, support me in a real way, for real. They they they, they actually do support me. It's it's, no, it's not even a question of my family and friends. But I do hear other people, you know, get mad when their family and friends don't support their business endeavors. And I kind of think, even though I agree with you, civil allies, I think that's unfair to your family and friends to put that kind of obligation on them. Even though you're saying that other races kind of, you know, already do that. And like, like we said earlier, that is kind of just group economics is what that's called. Um, we don't do that, unfortunately. You know what I mean? That's just not what we do. Um, we support things that are fun a lot of times. But a lot of things that's being successful, we support things that are fun. Um, you know, so, you know, you shoot the music video, you, you'll bring them all out then. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, if you got a bunch of boy cousins, bring a bunch of girls around. They'll support you then. So I think as business people, if you're looking to get support from anybody, this is family members or just regular people, you got to figure out where to meet them at until you get to a point where they go find you. Uh, Chinatown, no black town. You know, no, it's a black town, brother. It's called the hood. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't got no fancy word called Chinatown, but we do got a town. <laughs> and every city across America is called the hood, goddammit. <laughs> That's Blacktown, you know what I'm saying? And the brother that's selling the socks and the t-shirts and the bootleg Timberlands, yeah, he's in business too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the weed man, uh, the liquor store, everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what it is, you know what I'm saying? We got to, oh, listen, in Blacktown, the hood, we got a whole economy that I ain't going to talk about on this podcast, an entire economy. And I'm talking about if the money circulates. It goes from me to this person. This person takes the money over here, you know what I'm saying, and doubles it back, you know what I mean? It works something like this. I'll buy some weed, the weed man go, get, go to the prostitute chick, the prostitute chick, Go to the corner store. The corner store uh, supports the local football team. <laughs> and this is what we call group economics, family. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> and also, we forgot about uh, John John with the with the with his fifth mixtape CD, uh, and he's eighty years old. Uh, he's also doing his thing. <laughs> Service services in. Pecks have just joined the uh, Animal Planet. Uh, yeah, boy, manufacturer. So um, today's topic is: Do your family members should your family members support your business endeavors? Um, again, I think that they should. Uh, the Good Brother Civil Allies has made a very, 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 very valid point. And I'm so sad to say that I can't get him on this video feed to hear his input because then we would really be able to chop it up and I could like 
pick his brain a little bit better than typing on this joint, but uh, it's going to have to work for now. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm still working out the kinks in this joint. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I am streaming on uh, a couple of different services, and that's YouTube, that's Facebook, that is Twitter, and obviously this Instagram. Uh, so maybe I'll try to do video in, on one of the other ones later. I'm actually using this, this new streaming service called Restream uh, that lets you stream to multiple uh, platforms at the same time. But the problem with them is, well, they're not even a problem. Obviously, they would, they're going to let you do it for free. So I'm testing it out today just to see how it works. But then if you pay for it, uh, you can brand your own stuff on it and all kinds of stuff. But I figured I would at least try it today, see how it works, see what kind of insights and, and uh, data I can pull from it, and then I will go from there. Uh, most people don't know I'm a big data person. You know what I'm saying? And I think in business, you do yourself with the service by not being in the data analytical portion of your business. Uh, a lot of times people are selling to the wrong markets or they're selling to the wrong genre or the wrong people. Again, if you read your insights and all my insights says that blue is everybody's buying blue, yet I'm still on here trying to sell you some red, part of my ego is making me sell you red and I'm just trying to force you to buy red. That's just what it is when every other insight focuses on or pointing to me selling you something blue. I think if you look at the insights enough, it'll tell you where you need to go. And then what you can do, you can, you can cater your way around it. Again, um, like I said earlier, I'm literally doing this podcast and I'm testing it so my family members can see me doing it in real life. I'm being transparent. Obviously, I'm a rookie at this thing. But I'm also testing it and taking the time to take the algorithm and the insights and data to figure out when is the best times, what should I be talking about, what, what, what's getting me the best insight, even to the point of which one of these platforms work the best for me. Because that is the one I'm going to focus on. And that is the crowd I'm going to focus on. And that is the time slot I'm going to focus on. And so on and so forth. So the hell with what I think. I'm going with the people thing. And I've always said that my whole life. Listen, it ain't what you think about yourself because we all think we're the greatest. And I encourage everybody to seek out their greatness because we're all kings and queens and we're all geniuses to some degree. We just have to unlock it. But I am no fool. And I'm going to use the data to help me. Because all it is, is it's there for a reason. It's there to help you do better. I mean, if you're on Instagram right now or Facebook or Twitter, it says insights of every last one of them. It's a reason it's there. Unless you just have a regular page where you're just on there and it's your personal page, where those insights don't mean nothing to you because you're just, okay, I'm just posting my food today. Um, I'm posting that I'm on vacation, you know, or I'm lying to say my life is I'm balling. You know how it is. You know how people do, you know what I'm saying, with the fake Rolex and the, the counterfeit money. You know what I'm saying? You know, so if you're doing that, you don't need to do no insights. Continue to live in your life um, and do what you do. But if you're in business, I think that you should literally uh, look at them insights. Again, for me, um, I think it's funny because Instagram is the one so far, since I've been doing this podcast, Instagram is the one that's pretty much the, the feed comes in and out a lot of times. And I used to think that uh, maybe it's not reaching people until I realized the RSS feed is where it's at because people like to listen um, more than they like to watch. They, they like to like watching me. If they catch me live, like, you know what I'm saying? So if you catch me live and I got family members or friends on here and they see me live, oh, they ain't going to call the off on the joint. Let me go see what he's doing. Whoop, 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 whoop. But for the mass public, RSS feeds is where it's at, period. You know what I'm saying? For me and my brand. You know what I'm saying? And um, you got to work for what works for you. And this works for me. So I'm going to keep pushing my line. You're going to keep pushing yours. And uh, and this is the Animal Planet. So listen, this is your boy, Kali. I, I have been on here for my allotted amount of time. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. And this is your boy, Kali. This is Sometimes Gorilla Podcast. Welcome to the Animal Planet. Holla at your boy.
Civil Allies says, what we going to do? I've been in this industry. I've been going to the expos like impressions since the early 2000s. And three years ago, I was there like normal. And seeing Stan Banks there. Okay. Uh, how did that, uh, how did you benefit from that? That would be the question. Uh, uh, do, do those expos help you? Or does it help you? The expo is to get people there. I mean, I know a couple people that have been there. Like, literally, actually, this year, uh, my man, I Am Prolific Hands, was there. Uh, my homie from the art gallery was there. Uh, like two other people might have been there. I just can't think of them right offhand. But uh, two other, so it was about four, four of my friends, uh, family members, were at the Impressions Expo this year. I think it was in Long Beach, California, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm going there next year. Um, uh, they, they seem to enjoy it, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Now, that's something I didn't know. I didn't know Stan Banks was, uh, wow, who knew that? So Civil, Civil Ally says he was the first black person I've seen there besides me. Um, that says a lot. Uh, I think that says a lot for um, our people not going. You can't blame the expo. What's going on more bounce GXT? Uh, that, like I said, Civil Allies, this is more about us than it does the expo, for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, if they have that there and I guess people aren't supporting. I, I, I really don't know. I mean, oof, that's tough, man. But I know this year, I don't know, because I've never been there, but I know the four people I'm talking about were black. Literally. You know what I'm saying? So with Stan Banks and the art gallery and Iron Prolific Hands, and like I said, it's just like two more other people out there I can't remember. But that's that's five right there. So I guess we're making some progress. Um, you know some progress is better than no progress unless uh, me and you get together and create our own expo. And uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at this game. You know what I'm saying? I think that uh, I don't do a whole lot of complaining. What I do is a whole bunch of maintaining and creating. I agree. Um, I don't know if we're just getting in this industry. Uh, Fubu's been in this industry way before me and you have. They seem to do pretty good. Um, there's a brother on my timeline, and I don't know his name. His name is SIA, somewhere in America. He does sneakers. He is heavy up there, drink. Uh, Kai, K I Y, another sneaker dude, very big in that joint. So there's, there's, there's people out there. There's people out there that's doing it, and they're doing it in a major way. Obviously, Stan Banks as well, um, not, uh, who is also, who's an influencer for the garment printing industry for sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if you're just talking about fashion in general, uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of us in the industry. We probably don't get highlighted as much, like to do Virgil, but we there. You know what I'm saying? We there. It's, 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 you know, we got to we got to do better at it. And um, again, we have to do better at supporting our own. Um, just to get back to what we were talking about, family members and friends supporting your business. Um, we just got to get better at it. You know what I'm saying? And until then, uh, we just got to keep pushing. But listen, family members, again, that was my time. I just wanted to address a couple people because it uh, looks like a lot more family members have entered the building on the way to the end of the show. Tackle Sports um, have entered the building, more manufacturers. But again, I'm going to get out of here, family members. Holla at your boy. This is Kyle Yacht. Welcome to the Animal Planet. This is the Sometimes Gorilla Podcast. Holla at your boy. Peace. <laughs>